today we're going to build some uh, homemade V-blocks and I use these at work every day. Um, it makes it a lot easier for when you're uh, setting up pipe and trying to get it square or if you're trying to weld two pieces of pipe together. Uh, basically I just use these all the time. Super nice. And I've been thinking about doing a, um, a video like every week on uh, like fabrication tips just like quick little ones so maybe this will be the first video to that so what I'm gonna do for this can you get in here and see this bub? Yep. perfect is we get two sections of one inch angle iron uh, the ones I have at work are made of aluminum and they're inch and a half but this will be fine for home uh, so basically all we're going to do is square these up. I have them about three inches long. Uh, any less than that, and when you put the pipe in there, it'll kind of wander a little. And any more than that, and if you get a uh, bent tube, then it's going to run up here, and you are always needing to weld right where that is. Anyways, what we're going to do is glue these together. Um, I'm going to use silicon bronze because I just got some filler metal and I've been wanting to try it. I'll show you my technique that I use for that to keep it kind of a welding video too. So to start off, I'm just going to square this up right here on the edge. This ain't really that necessary. You want these to be touching and flat on the table so I'm going to clamp these down. Um, I guess this and hold that down nice and tight so that way I can get in there get some tacks and when I weld it I'm gonna keep something up here to clamp down and uh, I'm not gonna let it out until after it's cooled that way when it cools it won't spring up much at all hopefully and then they'll both be even enough to where they'll uh, be within a couple thousandths of each other Go this side And I got a, uh, I got this sheet of aluminum, or not sheet, but it's like, I don't know what this is. It's over half, I think. Five eighths inch uh, aluminum plate, and it's been machined off, perfectly level on both sides. And this is what I use to weld nice flat things on. Um, I found this at the scrapyard actually. So, got that clamped down. I wrote it with some alcohol. Bronze, I like to use alcohol, clean it all. So, just get in there and wipe it out. I used um, a uh, basically like a Scotch Brite deal to clean all the mill scale off, and that doesn't take off metal like a flap disc will. wipe it. I don't always wipe it, but I've never used this kind, so I don't know how dirty it's going to be. I got it up to 150 amps, so I'll probably be around, I don't know, I'd say 100. Alright, so I uh, welded the second one off screen. The second one I just went a little bit. Uh, it's kind of hard to get in there with the uh, this being clamped down and then the camera in the way. But they didn't turn out bad. It's pretty dirty. I probably could have cleaned off the mill scale even more and that would it wouldn't disappear because with silicon bronze you get a lot of that gunk in it. But you saw me doing the uh, back and forth technique and as I move forward I dab rod back up and that usually will push all the crud in the puddle with it 
so that when you get to the end you've got crud in it but nothing really right here and it's nice and shiny but it didn't really work on that so it must have been pretty dirty anyways the second one I just went a little bit real quick and as you can see they stayed nice and flat there's no wobble or anything and that's what I like with my v-blocks there's no gap so there's a torpedo level uh, another little fab tip uh, some people don't know this but this groove right here is so you can actually set that on pipe like this and it'll lock into place so that way you're leveling from the right angle anyways there's a piece of pipe that I stuck on this and these will stay nice and square in here and um, let's see if it all so it's nice and level same just as level as the table is so just to recap uh, these V blocks are nice for tons of different things this actually is the old welding table that I had when I first started welding in my shop. Um, I had it for a couple months, you know, I built this table off of it. I built um, my old welding cart, not that one. And just a few things, just using this. And if I was going to be doing tubing, something like this would have been awesome. So, very uneven. I'll show you. Here's a piece of tubing. I mean, that's... That's a pain in the butt to uh, tack and weld things to get them nice and straight. But if you have something like this, all you do is put it in here, push down and turn, and it'll straighten these guys up. So then that's nice and level. And you can spin it. And so like if I was going to be welding this, just turn, weld, turn, whatever. Uh, if you're going to be putting two pieces together, all you got to do is this. Put your other piece here, either have a third one or just, uh, you know, push down real good and make sure it's nice and locked in. Um, there we go. Then you can move it back, put the other piece in, tack it, spin it, tack it. Um, the other thing that's really nice about this is when you got to drill holes into tubing, if you're trying to hold it or, you know, it's just wanting to spin, you can go like this, grab your drill, and go straight through it, no problem. Um, lots of different uses. If you got a pipe that's got a curve to it and you need to hold it still, this will do pretty good. And then I'll put like a block behind it to kind of uh, keep it in place. Um, I don't know how your name's pronounced. It's either Reweld or R-E Weld on uh, Instagram. I saw you doing um, stainless exhaust uh, on a video you put up. Anyways, uh, I do a lot, not of exhaust, but you know, tubing that's all bent up like that. And I use these guys, just a bigger version at work, made out of aluminum. And they make it so much easier and keeps it from getting scratched up on the table. But anyways, nice job on that. That was really cool to watch. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Subscribe if you aren't like if you if it helped you and i also have an instagram uh fifth street fab at instagram um let me know if any of this helped or if you have any questions just put them in the comments below and i'll try and keep you updated with more videos thanks for watching